Hey YouTubers, Big Red 82573 here. Uh, just gonna show you real quick because I couldn't find anything on YouTube. I broke the threaded rod that goes through that little coupler on my automatic 04 Zubru Impreza. So it's stuck at the gas station in drive. Luckily I had some tools in the back. I got the center console unhooked and I was able to reach down in past the shifting console, get a hold of the end of the broken threaded rod with vice grips, and uh, get it in reverse so I could get it away from the building, and then back in drive so I was able to drive it home. So this is the next day. I looked all over YouTube, could not find a video about how to get this shifting cable unhooked. Anyway, I should have videoed me getting it apart, but I'll show you how it goes back together and you just reverse the steps to get it out. So once you get the four bolts, all the plastic off your shifting lever, out of the car, away from the shifter, take the four bolts, it goes down through the floor, off. That'll allow you to pull up on that plastic piece that your shifting lever is through. Then I came underneath the car Right here on the side of your transmission, just behind the muffler where it lies, this is a 2.5 hatchback, 04 Impreza. I took one bolt out the bottom, it's a 12 millimeter, and I bent that little tab up right here where the bolt is. That'll bend up with a little pry bar or a screwdriver. This one, there's two bolts holds it in, but you pry this out cable will pop out of this little union and then right up here you got to pop out that little cotter pin and don't lose it there's a washer behind it this little part here pulls off and that's your whole cable linkage and what I did then is I pulled it up through the hole in the floor where the shifting column is and I brought it down into a vise I found two metric knots that was the same thread. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can see where I welded two knots together plus that little flange knot where it articulates underneath the shifter. Welded that all together, put it back in the exact same spot. The reason it seized and broke the connecting threaded rod is that little cantilever right there was all seized up. So a bunch of penetrating fluid, WD-40, I've got that moving again. And then I just put it all together on the bench, got inside the, the car, shoved the cable down through so it's over top of this cross member and away from the dry shaft, and re-hooked everything back up. I still gotta put the bolt in there and then get in, finish bolting up the center console. Maybe I'll video and add that to the end of this one. And I should be back in business. Anyway, I hope this helps some people out because I searched all over YouTube trying to figure out how to get it apart up inside the cab, which was virtually impossible because there's two little nuts right, if I can get the, cam the light and the camera here in the same position. Sorry about the video, folks. This is with my phone. <laughs> There is two little nuts right up in behind this flange that is almost impossible to get off. They're 12 millimeter wrench to get off from inside, inside the box. Sorry about that. Anyway, I hope this helps somebody out and I will reshoot inside putting the console and stuff back in. Thanks. Okay, so back in the car. I've pushed this shifting linkage platform back down into the center console. Now I'm going to put these four 10, mil 10 millimeter bolts back in, snug them up. I'm going to plug in the electronics for the... If you don't have this plugged in, this is the light, which the bulb was burnt out to show you your shifting indicator. I'm gonna get one of them too, put that in there while I get this apart. Anyway, if you're ever into an issue 
and you have to do what I did use pliers or vice grips or something to get your car back home and you go to you get it into park and it won't come out of park a little push button right here underneath the plastic bezel you push this down with something your key or a screwdriver or something push this down that will allow you to shift it out of park also if it's your shifter is stuck down here somewhere and you can't get your key to turn because this little solenoid right here has to be depressed. So when the shifter goes up and hits it, you'll hear it click inside. So you can turn your key back to the off position, remove your key. There, in park, no problem. So I'll bolt this in and put the plastic back in, which is laying down in there on the floor, as you can see. And that was all just some little Phillips screws. I think there was two here that holds a little metal bar in where your ash underneath your ashtray where you store all your change stuff. And then the one back here, the big one where you have your little storage compartment. Some people have a 12 volt accessory in there. Uh, there was two screws, same thing in there, holds that on. And everything else just pushes together. Anyway. I'll show you, oh, and the, the knob for the shifting handle on mine obviously just screws on. So, hope this helps out. Anybody that needs uh, to get at their shifter or change that shifting linkage, it's not that big of a deal. It's actually pretty simple, especially if you can get the car raised up and get underneath there. So, this is. Uh, Big Red 82573 signing out. Cheers. Okay, so I got the shifting column back in bolted in. They're 10 millimeter, four bolts holds that in. Plugged up my electronics again. I'm gonna replace this bulb that'll go in the top part that shows you what gear select you're in, along with that shifting tape. Started putting the plastic console back in. You got two Phillips number twos up here across that holds it single one here and then two down in your little uh junk compartment here okay and then next i'm going to start putting the, the rest of the bezel back together and hook up my electronic mirror control and the cup holder over top of the emergency brake and this plugs in for the mirrors right here and then I'll put the cover back on the shifter and again I just want to make sure everybody knows I'm not a mechanic this is probably about I don't know half hour 40 minute job taking it out putting it fixing it putting it back together I assume no liability or responsibility anybody that tries this is just for just for information purposes only Hopefully it helps somebody out on your, I don't know what year, but I imagine most of them are the same. This one's an 04 Zubru Impreza, the wagon. Okay, everybody, she's all back together. It all snaps into place nicely. Put the back one in first. Put your front bezel in over your shifter. Make sure your shifter's up in park. When you put your ribbon and your little console here in. That's that little tiny plug, I guess. You can pop that out with your key and depress that. If you ever get stuck in park, this won't come out of park. Depress that little plunger in there and that'll be able to let you to shift. Once you get your tape in, your light for your indicators, that just pushes down the locks, four little tabs on each side when you want to take it off. This console goes back on, put your ashtray in. Then you pull your emergency brake up, slide this one on. It's just plastic clips. Plug in your mirror, power mirror if you have it, or your seat warmers if you have it. And other than that, it's all back together and ready to roll. So that's basically fixing my shifting linkage in this little Zubru Impreza that I got pretty cheap. 
put on the road. Can't beat it for a little cheap car to run, all wheel drive. It's uh, treated me well, needs a little body work before next inspection. But other than that, lots of little things you can do yourself instead of uh, paying the shop fees. Peace out, YouTuber Big Red 82573. Thanks for watching. Cheers.